So we're into the seventh match here on court two, day two of the Victor China Open 2023. First round action continues. Men's singles up next with Kandapan Wang Charon of Thailand taking on Rasmus Kemke of Denmark. That's what's coming up next here on court two. You look at that men's singles draw, you can see that the winner of this match that's coming up will face either one of Magnus Johannesson or Shi Yu Chi in round two with the likes of Kodai Naraoka potentially awaiting in the quarterfinals. That's a long way to go. We're going to focus at the match at hand between Wang Charoen and Gemka. Officials make their way onto the court. The players will follow soon. And well, this will be a third meeting between the Thai male men's singles player and the Danish men's singles player. Previous two matches have gone Rasmus Gemke's way. Both have been players with great potential in the past looking to live up to that mark uh, Wang Charun and Gemke you see Kantapon Wang Charun lead the way ranked 33 in the world at the moment his opponent of Rasmus Gemke is the world number 25. They both played in the world championships, of course, and they both lost in the second round in Copenhagen. Gemke losing to Shi Yuqi in two games and Wang Taron losing to Li Shi Fang in two games as well. As I mentioned, third meeting, and it's Gemke who leads to nothing, but it's been a long time since they last met. Black, you read? Five years. And French Open 2018. Uh, like really left, so Quarter final so. stage, and Gemke oh, won that in three games 12 21, 21 11, 21 17. Before that, it was the Czech Open in 2017, in the quarterfinal stage as well. And Gemke won that in straight games, 21-15, 21-14. So Wang Teron still looking for his first victory against Gemke. For Kantapon Wang Teron, he hasn't been able to get past second round in any of the tournaments he's played in 2023. So he's had a bit of a slump as far as form is concerned. Hoping to still turn that around in what is an Olympic qualification year. Plenty of tournaments left. This is the 20th tournament on the HSBC BWF World Tour this year. So he has time still to find his way back. And uh, we see 26 years of age now. Rasmus Gamke, as I mentioned, ranked 25th in the world. Has gone up to number 10. That was back in November of 2021. Has struggled also with injury a little bit, on and off. Has a win-loss record of 7 to 10 in 2023. So more losses than wins. In the first round, it's much closer. It stands at four wins to five losses. The four wins coming at India Open, the Spain Masters, the Malaysia Masters, and the World Championships. Wang Sharon is 24 years of age from Bangkok, Thailand, has gone up as high as number 12 in the world. That was back in October of 2019, soon after winning that bronze medal at the World Championships. His 2023 win-loss record is at 4 to 14, so just four wins he's had this year. In the first round, that stands at 4 to 9. Those four wins have come in the Malaysia Open, the India Open, the Thailand Open, and the World Championships. It's just four first round wins in his entire time and he hasn't been able to get past the second round at all this year. Can he change that around at this tournament? That's the question. 
third China Open appearance for Kantapon Wang Jaron, who's best friend. Ready to play! Second round in 2018, where he lost to Cho Chen Chen in two games. His third China Open appearance for Rasmus Gemke as well. Round one in 2018 and the second round in 2019, which was the last China Open to be played, lost to Anders Antonsen in two games. As we see the technical officials for this match, Philip Ayang Chi of USA in the service in the Empire's chair and then in the service judges chair is San Tzu Hui of China. Those are your officials for this match. These both players looking to find their way back to Ready? peak performance. Ladies That's and gentlemen, story. my right, Kantafong, Wang Chororen, Thailand. And on my left, Rasmus Kemke, Denmark. Kantafong, so Wang Chororen, Wang Chororen will serve to get this first round match on Play. Him. Aggressive One. start by both Love. players straight away. We left that late. Gas and Skemke. Service over. One, two. This was caught off guard trying to make that shot. Gemke. Puts Wang Charon on the scoreboard. Service over. Three. Great one. injection of pace on that one. It was aimed straight down at Wang Chi Rowan. Halt. Lovely placement right on the line. Service over. Two. Three. Thanks for the slower shot there, Wang Charon. It's all about putting it in the right place. It's contrasting styles at the moment. Early on though, in this first game. Under that shuttle is coming steep and fast. Lovely cross court smash. Sublimely Four, struck three. by Cantapon. Ranka on there. Able to find his length at the moment. Gemke. That is the side that a lot of players have struggled with, especially singles players. Oh. 
service over. Four, five. Fantastic. Excellent change of pace by Gemka. He was. It opened up his body like he was going to smash and then goes for that slower shot. Deceiving his opponent. Defending. Wang Taran doing well to get Six, forward to the five. net. Put the shuttle back in play, but Rasmus Gemke reading him just as well was behind the Thai player. Takes the lead, Rasmus Gemke. Three points in a row. Coming at a handy time. Six, five. Rally. Really good work by Rasmus Genke Seven to keep up the pressure five. on Wang Sharon. Pushes Wang Sharon back. And then with the aggressive forehand just catches him out of position. That's well wide. Yep, Service missed that completely, over. and he knows it. Six, seven. Over seven, eight. And you can see Rancho Roll just ensure that he stays in the point, covering the court well, playing the shuttle back, and makes the or forces the error of Gemka's racket.
service over. Nine, seven. Well, Gemke is doing well to just make sure he stays ahead at all times in this first half. Yep. He's down the middle with those smashes. And even though the first one came back his way, he persisted and paid off in the second time. from that straight away service over but eight nine makes the fall rasmus gemke On level scores. Oh. This has been toing and froing between the two men on court. Sure. Just gets Service it over. over. Ten, nine. Gentle touch at the net by Gemke. Holds on to a lead here. Good Albeit one. it's just one point. Lovely shot. So much of pace Service behind over. that smash Nine. from Wancha Rowan. Oh. Tracks back. Quickly. Gets a lot of muscle behind it. Ten all. Too close to call at this stage. a loose lift from Gemke on the backhand and Van Caron puts it away calmly which means that he has the lead at 11-10 at the break not been much separating these two men on court at the moment but Van Caron edging his opponent ahead at the mid-game break the whole thing is because it comes to stay flank on the court for two, 20 seconds. For two, 20 seconds. Ten play. Service 
Revis over 11 all. Service over, 12 all. It's been a pretty subdued start from uh, Gamke, who's normally quite attacking in his style of play. Still to find his footing here in this match. Has landed out. 13, 12. Defending by Genta there. Oh. Yeah, couldn't get enough height on that net shot, Gemke. Fourteen, twelve. It was the right idea. He was looking for the net roll. He just failed to control that shuttle. Thank you. And so Wang Sharon for the first time. Since 5-3, takes a two-point lead. Wide. Oh, missed that 15, line completely. 12. And this is turning out to be a good spell for Wang to Rowan. Four points in a row. Smash does the trick for Gemka there. Service over 13, 15. It's on the floor trying to get a return in, Wang Chorun. Thank you. And even then, it wasn't enough.
was good back Quickly. by the Dane. 14, 15. Control that point from start to finish. Much more aggressive play overall. Okay, on court. Like Gemke is run in 2023 and his best finish was getting to the quarterfinals of the Spain Masters and India Open. It's just not found full fitness yet this year. On and off with injuries. The last final was the French Open last year where he lost to Axelsson in straight games. That's lovely down the hunt. Down the line smash. Levels to score. Oh. And before that, his last title came at the Spain Masters. That was way back in 2018. So he's trying to refine that kind of form for quite some time now. Similar to Wang Chiron's story. Where his best career finish for the Thai player was back in 2017, where he got to the finals the Thailand Masters and lost to Sugiarto in two games. Also that World Championships bronze medal in 2019 and still looking to regain that kind of form since. Hasn't won a title on the HSBC BW World Tour. Pentapon Wang Chiron. Oh, that's a big, big smash Service down over. the line. Wang Chiron showing he too can do 15. it conjure up that kind of power. Quick, quick. Very quick. Lead exchanging hands once more. Want to run back on top? Back in Wait. back ahead, I should say. Over 17 16. There were a few times where Gemke has just been off the mark in terms of his returns or his placement from this end. Mistimed it as such. That time he was on the money. 17 Going for the body shot. Makes it 17 all. Still conditions here at the Changzhou Olympic Sports Park, the ah. Xuncheng Gymnasium. Not too cold. Don't really feel the presence of an air con, though I'm sure there is one turned on because it's hotter outside. And challenging. Can't the farm. Can't the farm. The call is in. No, 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 no
Can't the phone. Can't the phone. The call is in. Are you challenging? Can't the phone. Montero in challenges. Called in. I think he was having <laughs> words with the line umpire about whether being in or out. He's decided to challenge it. He's not supposed to. <laughs> Correction out. Do that. He's just supposed to ask for a review. That was the right challenge to make because Service it did over. indeed land out, which is probably why he was having words 18, with the 17. line judge. Takes the lead, 18 17. Service over. Absent concentration 18. there. Oh. But Wang Charon can't get the shuttle over. Looking for the net roll. Gets the big smash. Gemke doing well to defend. And that's where it comes undone for Wang Charon. That's out. That's well wide. Completely mishit that. 18. Yes. And Gemke's yeah. patience pays off. Don't play. Quick, please. 19 18. It's two away from taking this first game. What a point! It almost felt like Wang Tarun was on top of that for most 18. of the exchange, and in some unbelievable manner, Gemke turned it in. It was fantastic defending from Wang Tarun. And before Gemke himself has kept the pressure up, and it's Wang Tarun who makes the mistake. It's two. Game point opportunities for Gemke. It's been that kind of a game where it's gone back and forth so many times. And there's been no clear leader. Goes down to the wire. Game. And a return right at the body. First game, to run by means Rasmus, it's Rasmus Genke who takes the first game. 18. Three points in a row. And he wins it. 21 18. Rasmus Genke. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. It's 
So Second Rasmus game. Femke Love snatches old. the first game from Wang Charong, 21 18. And will serve to get the second game underway. Straight away, we're into a long rally. Both players unrelenting. Service over. One. Wang Chalon, oh. who finds the breakthrough. It's well placed. The backhand of Gemke there. Wang Chiron. Smart play. Another good rally. Wang Charon defending really well once more. Just forces Three, Gemke no. to make the mistake because he's looking for the lines. Wang Charon giving him no room within the court. 36 shots. That's the longest rally so far of the match. Your own pressing control there. Play. Service over. He's on the side where One, it's three. A little bit trickier, Wang Charon, so he's just got to take note of that. Rasmus Gemke now on the better end, if you can call it that. Ah. That was well played. A lead at the net. Two, three. Rasmus Gemke moves behind Wang Charon, just pushing the shuttle over. Power, Wang Cha Rowan, and he does in the end. Three, all. Hear the crackle of the smash when it comes off Rasmus Genke's racket. He's level scores here. Service over, four, three. Oh, 
again it's holding over. it for as long Four. as he could at the oh. net. Wang Chiaroan and then going for the cross. Just off the mark there. Five. Gemke. Four. Smart play from Wanka Rowan. <laughs> Super 1000s this year. Wang Rowan has finished in the second round at the Malaysia Open. Just the first yep. round at All England and Indonesia Open. Looking to make his second second round appearance at a Super 1000 event in 2023. It's not been much different for Gemke. In fact, Gemke hasn't been able to get past the first round as far as Super 1000 events are concerned this year. First round exit at Malaysia Open and All England and then did not play at the Indonesia Open. Six, four. So just looking to turn around that first round jinx as far as 2023 is concerned and Super 1000s are concerned. Best finish at a Super 1000 event was getting to the semi-finals of the Indonesia Open in 2021, Rasmus Gemke. In fact, Wang Chiaroan too. Got to the semi-finals of the Indonesia Seven, Open. That was four. back in 2019. And that was his best finish at this level. And here he takes a three-point lead. Three points in a row. And that was a really well-worked point by Genka, dragging Wang Chiron to one corner of the court there. Goes for the cross court forehand and then Wang Chiaroan with the higher lift puts the shuttle away nope. easily Genka. Okay, thank you. Two-point lead. Six, oh, missed that. seven. Smash it straight into the net. Wide, it's landed out much to Wang Taron's relief. Over eight, six. Mm, was moved around a fair bit on that point. Cant upon Wang Taron. Had to make a quick dash. But was happy to save his energy.
Jones, excellent rally. And it's Wang to Rowan who Nine, six. keeps the pressure on Gemke throughout. And forcing to find the corners of the court because Wang to Rowan did such a good job in defending the shorter forehands and backhands from Gemke. Get ready. Three point lead once more. For Wang Shu Rowan. Bolt. Service over. Seven, nine. We saw it in the first game as well that neither player was really allowed to open up a big enough lead. Okay, thank you. always two maximum three points that they were allowed to stay ahead before the opponent came back and pulled it in their favor and that's how close and tight this match has been for the first game and a half About 40 minutes of play Nine. Back to a one-point game. So caught up in the moment, Rasmus Gemke, the umpire, said, faults him for hitting the net. Rasmus, Rasmus, Rasmus. Oh. I'm sorry, that's my, my call, I'm sorry about that. Philip Ayung Chi explaining to Rasmus Gemke that it is his decision. He is the umpire and override anything. Mix. That decision that he did hit the net. Fault is called. It's good defending again. Pushes the shuttle away from his body. What a net shot. Oh, Service over. That is unbelievable to come up with a shot like that under pressure. Nine, ten. Just rolls off the tape there from Gemke's racket. The net lift just catches the tape and rolls over and lands on the line. Couldn't be more precise. One point game. Fabulous hit from Gemke down the line, smash. Kantako and Wang Chiron left oh. helpless on that occasion. Came that super speed. Thank you. Makes it 10 all. Levels Four. the score here, Gemke.
He's pulling out the 11, stops 10, at the moment, Rasmus Kemke. Takes the lead, 11-10 at the break. He's trailing by three points at 6-9. And then won five, four of the last five points to make sure that he stays in the lead at the mid-game break. One point ahead is Rasmus Kemke. <laughs> Court 2, 20 seconds. Court 2, 20 seconds. Krydsen må vi lade køre, altså den, der så slår den krydsen om over for under hætten. They're back on court to 11, resume the 10, second game. Play. Ahead by a point at the crucial time. He already has the advantage by taking the first game, 21-18. Service over 11. Oh. To just stay ahead of his opponent. Not really allow a can allow Kantapon a way back in to this match. <laughs> Lovely shot. Just going behind the opponent. 12-11. Nudging the shuttle over, Gemke. Kept all his wits about him. It's called in. In fact, it's landed. Service right on the corner of the two lines. Couldn't have been placed any better. Ball. And this one, like the first game, it's going to go down the wire. And chewing and throwing throughout. How costly that mistake could be, Wang Taroan. Completely misjudges the height on that shot. <laughs> Put away calmly by Rasmus Gemke. 14. A loose lift at the net once more from Wang Taroan, and Rasmus Gemke made no mistake. Called in and Wang Charon challenges. Wang challenges called in. Thank 
Correction, out. That's a good challenge again by Service over. Wrong to Rowan. 14, all, play. He's been pretty good with his decisions. It's worked in his favor. Big smash. Rasmus Gamke makes his intentions known. Service over, 15, 14. It's a really huge, powerful smash from Gemke. And to Rowan, kind of getting out of the way. And stays ahead, Gemke. He's turning it up now. 14. Turning the power up, turning the pace up, going for the big smashes, that attacking, aggressive style that we know him to play. S senses an opportunity here to close it out in two games. Whoa, how did he make that save? That was unbelievable. Service over. That was without 15, looking. 16. Crazy save from Gemke. Unfortunately, he came out on the losing end of that point, but what a moment of brilliance. Struggles of the net. All. Gives Wang Sharon a lifeline. Sensational drop shot from 16. Rasmus Gemke. He's really come up with the goods time and time again in the second game. Goes for the cross for a drop. And it plays out beautifully. On level terms. Has gone out. 
service over. Not the run. 18. Despite his best efforts, just struggling to overtake Gemke at the moment. Since the mid-game break, it's been Gemke who's always just about stayed ahead. Well, service over. 18 all. Shot from one to run there, the net played the karma net roll there, knowing that Genke was nowhere near it. Yes. Takes the lead 19 18, two away from pushing this to a third game. Well, he's turned this around point. right at the end. 18. Wang Taron, two game point opportunities after trailing for most of the second half of this game. He finds that corner beautifully. And Wang Chi Bowen stays alive in this second game won by Intense match in the men's singles. He's pushed it to a third game against Rasmus Gemke. 21-18, he takes the second. And we're going into a decider. Court two, twenty seconds. Court two, twenty seconds. On court. Huh? 
final game. Love all. Play. So into the third game we go. Wang Charan will serve. Having kept his China Service Open over. campaign alive One, by winning five. the second game right at the end. He went on a four point run in game two to steal it off Gemke. Interesting to see who gets on top Love. early here. There's, there's been that kind of a match where neither have been able to take a commanding lead. Service over. One, two. It's been last-minute charges and dashes that have been the difference in this match. In game one, we saw Gemke go on a late four-point run to snatch it, and then Wang Taro and return the favor in game two. Two, all. goes quickly up ahead in the third trying to establish early control service over three four Some quick fire points from Erasmus Gemke. He's decided not to prolong those exchanges that we saw a lot in the second game. And taking charge and keeping the points short as much as possible. Service over. Four, six. seen numerous times in this match already. Uh, Rowan is able to pull back straight away, not really allowing Gemke to establish any kind of lead or control. Two, three points have been the maximum throughout this match.
What has changed has been the duration of the exchanges, that's for sure. Much shorter. Service over. Six, seven. Good defending from Vanker Rowan, but Rasmus Gemke finds the open corner. Eight, six. Not once losing sight of the task at hand. Just like the way he started, once more he turns up the power to get back ahead. Three point lead. Left it late. Excellent work by Gemke. Ten, six. High, inten high intensity exchange that he comes out on top of. And this is by far the biggest lead we've seen either of these players take in this match. Play. Real test of their physicality. As well as mental Eleven, alertness, as Wang Chiron makes the mistake at the mid-game interval. Gemke ahead 11-6 as the five-point lead. Fear, fear. Eleven, six. We're back and forth. Play. Ready to restart this deciding game, and it's Erasmus Gemke whose four-point run right at the end ensured that he's established a comfortable cushion here, five-point cushion here in the second half. Service over. Seven, eleven. Allows him some breathing space as these match goes into its final. Huh? Good defending again by Rangta Rowan, who's borne a lot of the attack really well. Service over 12 7. Cut the phone, show where? Yes. Thank you. Bang on Service the line. Eight, Wang Chiron turning up the smashes himself. Oh. 
well left. Service over, 13-8. over 9-13. Wang Chiron just won't go away. Much to Gemke's dismay. No matter how wide a gap he opens, Wang Chiron always gets a look and always finds his way back. Chance here again to do so. It's gone well long. Yep. A faster exchange between the two. Forcing the mistake from Wang to Rowan. Good smash. Oh, what excellent work by Rasmus Gemke, turning that defense 15. Nine. into attack with ease okay, okay, okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay. defends really well there and then on the net shot just pushes it behind Wang Chiron giving him chase that's an excellent point for the 26 year old more Genke outpowering his opponent look at the way he mixes those shots up he goes for the slower shot there and then two hard and fast smashes follow really good follow-up from Genke means that he now has a seven point lead could be it for Wang Chiroen Gemke takes a commanding nine. lean for the very first time in the match. Well left. 18-9. Nice She's certainly getting away from the hands of Wang Chiro and Gemke now three away from victory. called at the net <laughs> so the <sober laughs> which has 10, been 18. a bugbear for Gemke as he touches the net once more that time there's no protest from the Danish player because he saw that quite clearly Rush to get 11, this done with Gemke. Not always making smartest choices in that exchange. <laughs> Lift allowing Wang to roll and to go for a down the line smash. Still has a seven point lead.
This is exactly what Wang Tiaron does really well, and that's find his way back time and time again in this match. To be fair, the gap might be a little too big this time. Doesn't get rattled. That's what he's so good at. 13, Keeps playing 18. his game, yes. Wang Tiaron. Three points in a row. Close the gap. Yeah, he's in a rush here, Rasmus Gemke. He's 14, made some careless mistakes. 18. Wang Jaroen just patient, waiting his turn. He was 18-9 up, Gemke. And now it's a four-point game. Make that a three-point game. Five in a row 15, for Wang Jaroen. What 18. a turnaround this is for the very patient Thai player. The 24 year old just sticking to his game plan. And it's Genther who's kind of giving his points away a little bit. It's a tight net shot that does the trick. And relief for Genther as he stops a five point run. A six point run from Wang Taro and Zen. Two points away from a victory. Oh. Mm. Lovely drop shot. Finds the space to twenty. Put it away match nicely, Wang Chiron. He brings up five match point opportunities. Yeah. Very smart play by Gemke. Keeps his wits about him there. First time of asking, it's Rasmus Gemke who seals victory in three hard-fought games. 21-18, 18-21-21-15. He comes through in the end. Match won by Rasmus Gemke. 21-18, All his might and 15. all his effort to get there as Wang Chiroen put him through a stern test, 78 minutes played, and Rasmus Kemke emerges victorious. He's through to the second round here at the China Open. For a second straight appearance. More importantly, he's through to the second round of the Super 1000 event this year for the very first time.
seven matches done. We're down to the eighth and final match here on Hall 2 on day two of the Victor China Open 2023. And it's men's doubles action that will conclude today's play. Choi Sol Yu and Kim Won Ho of Korea take on the number four seeds, Aaron Chia and So Wu Yi. That's what's coming up here on Court 2 very, very shortly. When we look at that men's doubles draw. Aaron Chia and So Wu Yi, of course. Not only looking to go deep into this tournament, hoping to get the first title on the HSBC BWF World Tour. The winner of this match will take on either Her Ji Ting, Zhou Hao Dong, or Chang and Po of Chinese Taipei. The likes of the number eight seed, Dong and Tio, waiting in the quarterfinals. So that's a couple of days away. Right now, of course, it's the big task of the first round match at hand. Choi and Kim versus Chia and So. As you see, the officials have already taken their place on the courts. Wait for the players to make their way up. This will be their fourth meeting between the Koreans and the Malaysians. And the Malaysians have the head-to-head -head advantage all previous meetings have gone their way. Come on. World champions are walking behind Choi and Kim. As they finished with a bronze medal at the World Championships in Copenhagen, following that gold that they won last year in Tokyo. Shia and So. You look at the head to head record, and it stands at 0 to 3 in favor of Chia and So. The last met at the Indonesia Open Red. Red. this year in the second round, and this Chia and So won that 21 19, 21 16. Okay, who's receiving? So, okay, which end? Okay. And the Malaysia Masters as well this year in the second round, and Chia and So won that 21 19, 21 14. Before that, they met at the Badminton Asia Team Championships back in 2020 at the quarterfinal stage in Chia and so won that 21-19, 21-14. So all very similar score lines. 21-19 was the first game in all three previous matches, so they might get that close here too. Aaron Chia, 26 years of age, from Malacca. Ranked number six in the world at the moment. Has gone up as high as number two. And uh, that's in January earlier this year. His partner, So Wuyik, is a year younger, 20 and a five, from the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. They have a win-loss record of 21 to 15 in 2023, but at the first round, it's 11 to one. So just the one loss the entire year, which came at all England. That was their only first round defeat. They lost to Carnado and Martin of Indonesia in three games there. We'll certainly not be hoping to repeat that again. Kim Won Ho, 24 years of age from Suwon in South Korea. Ranked 15th in the world with his partner Choi Sol Gyu. Number nine was the highest they reached. That was also in January this year. Choice of you, of course, having reached higher than that. Number seven in the world with his former partner, Sir Sung Jae. And that was in November of 2019. There we see it. From Seoul, South Korea, is a 28 year old. With a 2023 win loss record of 14 to 9. 